Let's look at some of the defensive schemes and concepts that Rick Pitino is going to bring to Iona basketball. Let's first check in with uh, Louisville National Championship team 2013. They're in this 2-3 matchup zone where they apply early light pressure and then back off into the zone. You see the guys, they're just passing off as the cutters come around they're just passing them off picking up the new guy in their zone and it really just kind of throws Oregon out of whack they make this basket on a tough shot but that's a good defensive possession for Louisville and then again here a little more chaotic but you just kind of see this aggressive attack minded defense almost get the steal there it's a decent look but again not a great possession here we see in the final four against Wichita State they're just getting a guy off the inbounder and just denying that inbounds pass making the catch tough Louisville did a good job with this but the game really didn't turn around until later in the second half where they started forcing the ball into corners these trap zones and uh, they also were forcing to, to like big men to come up and make the catch, which just makes it tough to get the ball over half court and get into your sets. See right here, big man catches the ball, not quite, not quite sure what to do with it, kind of un unsure of himself. By the time they get it over half court, it's already 22, 21 seconds before before they're in their set again here big man he's not in a trap zone necessarily but big man catches three man swarm easy steal and even here when they're not getting the trap they're not getting the the, the turnovers in the backcourt speeds up van vliet so much that he turns it over anyway And then this last one against Duke, we'll see a double come. As soon as Quinn Cook spins right there, double. Not sure where to go with it. Gets it to a big man, barely. They can't get it over 10 seconds.